One that's going to take several installments to finish, but you are going to love it. The overall project will be a complete NES console container. When all the pieces are done, they're going to make up an entire NES controller. It's going to look awesome. So in this part one of the series, we are going to focus on the controller holders. It's going to perform three different functions. One, it'll hold the controller and be removable from the overall project. So you can take the whole thing out. It's going to spool up the long Nintendo cable goes on the controller, old school. Uh, and number three, it is going to make up the buttons on the mega controller. Let me know what you think in the comments. And for all of you who love to see CAD designing, this is for you. For all of you who do not, I apologize. I'm hurrying up as fast as I can. We'll get through this together, all of us. And we'll just do a little more tweaky tweaky right here and just a little more. Okay, this, this is it. Promise, this is it. Alright, now we're going to show how to print it out. Hopefully you didn't want to see any more of this cat designing, but if you do, let me know. First attempt is going to be on the AnyCubic Chiron printer. Uh, I'm trying it on here first because of the size of the print bed. And I'm doing it with my Hatchbox PLA and recording the time lapse with my GoPro cameras. So the time-lapse video on my Chiron is not as good because I'm using a GoPro time-lapse and it's not really designed specifically for 3D printing um, like the Beagle camera is, which you'll see in a minute. So just bear with me on that. Well, this is an exciting start. So now I got to remove all this um, support structure. And it looks pretty good. It's a little rough. Uh, this is again with the Hatchbox PLA. In case you missed it, this is the next attempt, and I'm going to do it on my Ender printer. And I'm doing it with Polymaker PLA, and I'm using my Beagle camera, which is a camera designed specifically for remote printing on 3D printers and time lapse videos. So, this is coming out awesome, and I love the way this looks. I'd say one of the worst parts about 3D printing is removing the supports that you printed. Uh, they can be, it can be kind of therapeutic, but also can be a real big pain. This one here was not too, too bad. Um, but it would be nice if I didn't ever have to do any support structure. The purpose of this project, uh, as you may know, in the 80s and 90s, Nintendo had some crazy long controller cords, which was good planning on their part because you had to be corded up to it and you still wanted to be able to play. Anyway, this thing here, awesome, rolls up your whole cord without binding it up too much, fits perfectly in this holder, and it's going to go great in the total project. All right, here's what everything's going to look like when it's all done. Uh, we just finished the buttons, so off to a good start. Keep an eye out for part two of this project. It's going to be an out-of-this-world accomplishment. <laughs> 